Hello, let's talk about integrating partial fractions because that's the last sort of new thing about integration and the rest is just modeling and solving differential equations. So let's say that we have to integrate something like x minus 5 over x plus 1 x minus 2 dx. So when you get something like that, all you're going to do is write it out as partial fractions. Um, basically, x minus 5 over x plus 1 x minus 2 is going to be the same as a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2, if we remember our partial fractions, which means that x minus 5 is going to equal a times x minus 2 plus b times x plus 1. Uh, and now we need to find a and b, so we're going to choose when x equals 2, minus 3 equals 3b, which means that b is minus 1, and when x equals minus 1, minus 6 equals minus 3a, which means that a equals 2. So the integral of that is the same as the integral of 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 2 dx which if I really wanted I could break that into two different integrals that would be two integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx minus the integral of 1 over x minus 2 dx and just remember if you've got a fraction like 1 over x the integral of 1 over x we should remember is the log of x. So the integral of that is 2 log of the absolute value of x plus 1 minus log the absolute value of x minus 2 plus c because we've got a, a um, indefinite integral that's what I wanted to say and then if we simplify using uh, laws of logarithms uh, this is the log of x plus 1 squared divided by the log of x minus 2 plus c another case may be when we have an improper algebraic fraction so I've got 9x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by 9x squared minus 4 dx. And remember, an improper algebraic fraction w was one where the, the highest power, the, or the order of the numerator was equal or bigger than the order of the denominator. If that is the case, if that's what we are dealing with, what you have to do first is divide the polynomial. I'm not going to do that. You must remember how to divide polynomials. So that is the same as the integral of 1 uh, minus 3x plus 6 1 plus 1 minus 3x plus over 3x plus 2 3x minus 2 dx. Okay? Um, which I could actually break down into the integral of 1 plus the integral of the other bit. So this is going to be the integral of 1 dx plus the integral of minus 3x plus 6 over 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2 dx. And I have to write that in partial fractions. If you remember that, we said that minus 3x plus 6 
must be the same as A. Well, this is properly 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2. That's going to be A over 3x minus 2 over 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2 plus B times 3x plus 2 dx, which means I can cancel out those, yes, and I'm just left with the numerator there. Sorry, I don't need the dx here. I need to find a and b. So when x equals 2 over 3, you're going to have to trust me on these. Um, b equals 1, and when x equals uh, minus 2, 2 over 3, A equals minus 2. You can try that out. So, that integral can be written as the integral of 1. Um, minus 2 over uh, 3x plus 2. Uh, plus 1 over 3x minus 2 dx. And if I integrate that, the integral of 1 is x minus 2 log of 3x plus 2. But remember, the derivative of log 3x plus 2 is 1 over 3x plus 2 times 3, chain rule, I need to differentiate the 3x, which is not here, so I need to adjust coefficients and divide by 3, and integrate that bit there, so that's going to be plus the log of 3x plus 2, but same story here, chain rule of differentiation, the derivative of log 3x plus 2 is 1 over 3x plus 2 times 3, chain rule again, I haven't got a times 3 here, which means... Um, of course, and then plus my uh, constant of integration because it's an indefinite integral. And now I need to tidy this up a little bit, simplify using rules of logs. This is x plus one third times log of um, 3x plus 2 minus the log of 3x. Have I, oh, I've messed up my signs. That should be a minus 2 there. Uh, 3x. No. That should be the minus there, because I moved that bit to the front. And then the minus log of 3x plus 2 squared plus c. And then, uh, last bit, oops, running out of space, right to here, yeah, you can see, this is x plus one third log of 3x minus 2 over 3x plus 2 squared plus c. Um, and that's how to integrate using partial fractions. Um, it's quite fun, actually. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Um, let me know if there are any problems.